Nebuchadnezzar will be very angry with me when you appear before him because you will not look as good and not be as strong as the other young men, said Ashpenaz, the king's servant. He might kill me because I didn't take care of you properly, he continued. Please, test us for ten days, asked Daniel and his friends. Then look at us and see if we don't look as strong and healthy as the other young men. Hi, kids. The series of stories about Bible heroes continues. Together, we will set sail on a journey where we will explore some of the adventures of young Daniel. Over time, the sins committed by the people of Israel stirred God's anger. In order to teach them a lesson, God decided to punish them. While Daniel was living in Israel, the Lord decided to send a powerful army against the people of Israel. The army was led by a man named Nebuchadnezzar, who was the king of Babylon. King Nebuchadnezzar and his army surrounded the city of Jerusalem. After they destroyed it, the army took the Israelites captive and set off with them back home to Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, ordered Ashpenaz, one of the commanders at his court, to choose some young men of noble and royal descent from the sons of the Israelites. Because the young men were brought to Babylonia as slaves from a foreign land, they were unfamiliar with the language of the king and his people. So Nebuchadnezzar had planned to teach the young Jewish noblemen how to speak, read, and write the language of Babylon and to raise them in his court so they would be prepared to serve him. Make sure you pay close attention so you choose the best of the young Jewish slaves, King Nebuchadnezzar ordered Ashpenaz. They have to be healthy and strong, but also smart. They should be able to learn new things quickly, and they should be ready to serve me so that I may use them as servants in my palace, the king continued. Ashpenaz fulfilled the king's exact orders and chose the most worthy of the young Jews among the noblemen brought as slaves from Jerusalem. After three years of training, these young men had to appear before the king to be tested. Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah were among those chosen by Ashpenaz. These young men feared God. They were faithful in all things, lived a righteous life, and avoided worshiping the gods the Babylonians worshiped. They also avoided eating the foods offered to idols, which God had commanded them not to taste. Even though they were slaves in a foreign country, far from home, Daniel and his three friends wanted to obey God's commands rather than the king's orders. To prepare for when Ashpenaz called them to the dinner table for the first time, the four friends, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, discussed what they were going to do. Brothers, we will soon be called to eat, and they will give us food from the king's table, said Daniel. We are talking about food offered to idols and meat from unclean animals. You know that the Lord our God commanded us through Moses not to eat unclean food. He continued, You are right, answered Michel. But is God's commandment still true for us today? Asked Hananiah. We are not even in Israel. We are in captivity, and the king is now our master. No one will know what we do, he said, with sadness in his voice. God is also here. He surely sees us and knows what is happening to us, answered Azariah. So, whoever makes himself unclean with the king's food will sin against God, continued Azariah. I decide and commit today before the Lord and before you not to worship the king of Babylon and not to eat the food served at his table, said Daniel with a firm tone. Me too, me too. Let's all do that, Daniel's friends confirmed. I also commit to this, answered Hananiah. May God be with us. That day, Daniel and his friends decided to obey the commandment given by God to their families and to not eat the food served at the king's table. 
When Ashpenaz, the king's servant, called the four friends to the table, Daniel stepped forward and told him the following. Master Ashpenaz, it is a sin for us to eat the king's meat and drink the king's wine. Please, do not make us do this, Daniel pleaded. At first, Ashpenaz was afraid that the king would get angry if the young men did not eat from the food served at his table. So he told them, Look, Daniel, Ashpenaz started, I'm afraid that my lord, the king, who decided what you should eat and drink, might see your faces weaker than those of the other young men. And because of this, he might put my life in danger. Ashpenaz continued, Nebuchadnezzar will be very angry with me when you stand before him, because you will not look as good and not be as strong as the other young men. He might kill me, because I did not take care of you, he continued. Daniel reassured Ashpenaz by telling him he had nothing to fear, because God would take care of all their needs. Then Daniel asked Ashpenaz for a favor, and he said, Please, test us for ten days, Daniel asked him. Allow us to eat only vegetables and drink clean water. Then look at us and see if we don't look as strong and healthy as the other young men. Ashpenaz, the king's servant, tested Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah for ten days, feeding them only water and vegetables instead of the king's wine and food. As the ten days passed, the caretaker noticed that the four young Jews looked better than the others and were stronger than all the young men who ate Nebuchadnezzar's food. So, from then on, Daniel and his friends received the food they chose. God honored Daniel and his friends for deciding to obey the Lord's commands, even in captivity, and He blessed them with knowledge, wisdom, and an ability to quickly learn all kinds of new and important skills. After three years, King Nebuchadnezzar gave the following command. I want all the young men who came from Jerusalem to be brought before me. I want to see for myself if they managed to learn anything during the time spent in my palace. The king concluded. Among the young men who were brought before the king were Daniel and his three friends, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. The king and his governors spoke to them and asked them all sorts of difficult questions. Of all the young men, there were none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Because of this, they became the king's servants. Besides that, in all the things that required wisdom and skill and about which the king asked them, he found them ten times more capable than all the wise men who were in his entire kingdom. So, the king gave the four young men important positions as leaders in the kingdom, and they lived in Babylon for many years. Although Daniel and his friends were slaves in a foreign country, far from home, they decided to keep obeying God's commands. They chose not to make themselves unclean with the king's food and with the wine served at his table. Knowing that the law of the Lord considered these foods to be unclean and that God had commanded them through Moses not to eat such food, Daniel and his friends decided to obey God. Even though King Nebuchadnezzar and his people worshipped idols, the four young Jews continued to worship God. They knew how much God hated idol worship. Therefore, they chose to please God, knowing that He would take care of them, even in Babylon, far from home. Of course, Daniel and his friends had faced difficult situations when their faith in God was tested, but they continued to serve God no matter what. We hope you will join us in the following episodes of this series to find out what will happen next with Daniel and his friends. Produced by David and Goliath Productions. If you liked this episode, give us a like and a five-star rating, as well as tell your friends about us. You can re-watch this episode along with the rest of this series on YouTube 
on the DG Bible Stories channel. Also, you can find our series in audio format on most podcast apps. You can also follow us on the DG Bible Songs channel on YouTube, where we frequently post Christian songs and animations for children.